David, what is Fusion 72 all about? Uh, Fusion 72 is uh, an organization which has been set up with the uh, professional, uh, professional director uh, to help coordinate and instigate activities of the community uh, to express the qualities which this city has. But Why um, Fusion? Where did this come from? The name Fusion? Yeah. Well, Fusion means sort of bringing all sorts of people and things together to make a statement, is which is what a festival is. And, um, uh, well, festivals uh, seem to be happening all over the place. Well, who's going to finance Fusion? Um, well, up to now, the Fusions has been totally financed by the people of the city who are only too willing to sort of become involved. I've got a program with over 100 groups. We are getting a, a lot of participation from a, a, outdoor, uh, not outdoor, um, other organisations like business houses who have lent, lent things to us or have given us paint or travelling exhibitions and um, the Australian Council of the Arts have given us professional services of, of a director and the City Council have given us salaries of um, administration staff and various things like that. Uh, so it's very much bringing together people with ideas and people who want to see, who may not have the time or the ideas but want to see these things uh, done. Now you've, you've set up your headquarters at the Royal Hotel, how did this come about? It came about in a very strange sort of way really. The, one of the projects that I was very involved with in Sydney a couple of years ago was the Yellow House which Martin Sharp, who this thing belonged to, um, instigated it. It was basically on, on um, the Van Gogh Gauguin story where they, they wanted to set up an arts commune. Uh, in Sydney it worked very well for quite a long time where they had films and theatre things going and exhibitions. It was sort of a live energy place which it had a lot, a lot of sort of power and projection. It brought sort of drama people together with painting people and music people to all work together on one sort of project. I saw the two things in doing this, the fact that we didn't have adequate facilities for putting on things in Wollongong. Also the facilities that were available were too expensive for anybody who was one an amateur or two couldn't afford to mount it, you know, hire a hall yeah. or something. And saw that there were so many buildings in this city empty that weren't being used and which was waste. And I'm very sort of conscious of sort of waste that's going on sort of in, in society overall and thought we could approach sort of some people to see if we can get something done about using one of these buildings. This one was the ideal one, uh, because obviously because of its facilities that are here and it was empty. And through our committee, we um, approached the right people and um, they've given us the use of this building until the festival is over to run functions. Uh, well, what also, sort of functions have you got organised? Um, we've got things from... Um, exhibitions of paintings through workshops, plays, concerts, uh, even things like um, beauty contests. But also as, as well as those sort of functions, we're using this as our office where we'll be running an art union and just generally organising. So it's a centre point for all of the festival activities where people can find us. It's ideally situated in the centre of the city and if people don't know something is going on, if they walk past it every day, they're just simply not looking. What about other cities? Do you think the other cities could follow suit with similar festivals? Um, well, festivals are coming up everywhere, as I mentioned before. Ours is, has the potential of being a very unique festival. In fact, I can see it as being one of the major festivals of New South Wales, which is why I have become involved in it.